time in the history of the Arthur Mills Rose Bowl, it's been decided that it be presented to a member from overseas. Uh, his interest in mechanical organs in this country goes back to the late 1950, as is shown by his FOPS membership number of 227. He has represented our sister's organisation in the Netherlands, the KDV, at numerous events in this country all over all those years. Uh, he's written articles, many for our Keyframe magazine, and regularly reported on events in this country for the KDV magazine. His knowledge of the fair organ, particularly in Germany and France, is second to none, and he acts as a good ambassador between KDV and FOPS. Later this year, he will be celebrating his 80th birthday, and receiving the Rose Bowl in this, in this special year is most appropriate for a tireless worker in the fair organ world. I am pleased to say he is with us today, and I should like Jan van Dinteren to come forward to receive the Arthur Mills Rose Bowl. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm coming to fetch it personally. There you are, Jan. Oops. There is somebody who lied to me. <laughs> Dear committee members, Vice Presidents, ladies and gentlemen, I am standing here with mixed uh, feelings and I'm a little bit confused because we were invited for another thing, but I will talk about that later. Um, in my life, I have always been trying not to stand in the middle of a group of people, so my work, I need that for my work, but so in my leisure time, and um, that is a little bit uncommon for me, but I am standing in front when it has to do with fairground organs, when it is, whether it is French or it is German, because those organs cannot defend themselves, so we must talk instead of the organs. We are so privileged here that we understand organs and that we open our heart to listen to the beautiful sounds of those organs. We understand, we understand what they are telling us. And then I must gossip a little bit because here is a person and his name, yeah, excuse me, Andrew Pilmer. He phoned me um, uh, two weeks ago, a um, little bit talk and so on. Are you interested? Are you visiting the AGM? It's a long wave, uh, 450 kilometers. Yeah, but uh, you have seen many instruments, but uh, we can offer you something that is an official presentation of a huge Welte Orchestrion. Did you see that before? I said, no, I didn't see that. Uh, yeah, you should come and so on and so on. Just in fact, I it, so I phoned uh, two uh, organ friends of mine who is Franz Varek, who has a beautiful Model 36 root from 1926, and uh, Leo Hessels, who has a Dussault organ from uh, Lille. Uh, Dussault used to work for Limonair, uh, built in 1914. Um, yeah, then we shall go. So we decided to. Uh, to come and to have a look at this uh, magnificent uh, instrument. So, Andrew, you must let me a little bit, but it was <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was the first, uh, the third thing? I, yeah, I have not, uh, I did not prepare anything because it overwhelms me a little bit. Um, oh yes, receiving this ball makes me. A little bit, yeah, I must translate everything, of course, into uh, English. Makes me a little bit sad, but look, this ball has been for a year for friends of mine, like Never Rose, like my friend, um, um, what was his name? Richard, yes, yes, it's Richard Temple. And then a man whose name is written in capitals in my heart. That is Victor Kiyapa. I met him the first time in 1958, and I knew, and I knew that Victor didn't let everybody in, but maybe his heart understood that I was really interested. And every year I came to your country, well, 
all were hospitable and so on, and um, I was always welcome there. So um, that goes to, uh, through my mind as well. Um, at last, I will not take you too much of your time. I will thank you for your trust in me. Uh, I'm doing my best. Not everybody always agrees, but okay. I stand for historical historical heritage, and uh, that is where we must uh, work for. Thank you very much for your trust. That's